Doctor, that's very good. I mean, the only thing that I'm a little bit concerned about now is how should the, and many of the viewers will be concerned about is, how exactly should you or a Muslim seek Laylatul Qadr? There are guidelines given in the Hadith how you should seek for Laylatul Qadr. It's mentioned in Abu Dawud, volume number one, in the Book of Salah, Hadith number 1370. Abu Dhar, may Allah be pleased with him, he said that we used to fast along with the Messenger of Allah. And he never woke up, up for prayer in the night, except on the seven last remaining nights, where we prayed till one third of the night. And on the sixth remaining night, he did not wake us up. And again, on the fifth remaining night, he woke us up and we prayed till half the night. And when the Prophet was about to go, he asked that, why don't you pray with us the full night till morning? So the Prophet said that anyone who prays till the Imam prays, it is as though he has prayed for the full night. And further, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number three, in the book of superiority of Sikh Nilayatul Qadr, Hadith number 2014, that anyone who prays in the night of Laylatul Qadr with sincere faith and seeking Allah's reward, all his past sins will be forgiven. And it's mentioned in Tirmidhi, Hadith number 3512, the Hadith Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, the wife of the Prophet, she asked the Messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that what if I find Laylatul Qadr, what should I do? So the Prophet replied that you should do dua and supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, saying that, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are most forgiving. And you love forgiveness, therefore forgive me. And it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number three, in the book of fasting, hadith number 2024, that the beloved Prophet Muhammad during the last 10 days of Ramadan, he used to tighten his waist belt. That means to work harder and abstain from relationship with the wife. And he used to stand in prayers in the last 10 nights. And he used to wake up his family. It's further mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number two, in the book of fasting, hadith number 2644, that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the last 10 nights of Ramadan, he used to exert himself more and worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more, pray more and do dhikr more in the last 10 nights. So this is the way how a Muslim should seek light al Qadr. Are there any signs of Laylat al Qadr mentioned in the Hadith or the Quran? There are signs mentioned in the authentic Hadith of Laylat al Qadr. But Alhamdulillah, all the signs that are mentioned, they are seen after Laylatul Qadr has passed. So it is the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He does not want us to know exactly because if we had known, then we have seen the sign and then prayed and done worship. And the other nights we would have just, you know, been a bit relaxed and not worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This hadith mentioned in Sayyid Muslim that the following of Laylatul Qadr, the next day, the sun will be without rays and it will appear like a dish until it rises high. It's further mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number two, in the book of fasting, hadith number 2633, that the day following Laylatul Qadr, the sun will not have rays. It's further mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number two, in the book of fasting, hadith number 2635, that the Prophet said that on the night of Laylatul Qadr, the moon will appear like a plate towards the fag end of the month, and it's mentioned in Sayyid Hadith of Tabrani and Ibn Khuzaimah that the light of Laylatul Qadr will not be too hot, neither will it be too cold. And it will be a generous night, a night of happiness. And the sun, the next day after Laylatul Qadr, will appear weak and reddish. So these are the signs that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in the Sayyid Hadith. But all of them, they are after the Laylatul Qadr. 
comes so that we yet seek for Laytul Qadr.